Hey students, in this session we are going to discuss exactly what happens at the surface of alveoli. Okay, so let's uh, see uh, first where is exactly alveoli. So as we have discussed in the last sessions that this is trachea and once the air enters a trachea then it goes into bronchi that is a first pipe dividing into two lungs then bronchioles and finally it enters into a large sac that is alveolar sac and finally it enters the alveoli so when the air enters through your nose it will finally go into alveoli okay now what happens at alveoli is what is uh, what uh, we are going to discuss in this session okay now let's see what happens at alveoli before we go to see what happens at alveoli, first we will talk about an important concept that is said to be diffusion. Diffusion is a movement of gases from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. So movement of molecules, diffusion means what? Movement of molecules from where to where? From high concentration to low concentration. Uh, as we have discussed in earlier sessions in our earlier grades also right what is high concentration place where something is more in amount and low concentration where place where something is less in amount okay now suppose we discuss about chocolates i have more chocolates you have less chocolates so what will chocolate tend to do by the process of diffusion chocolate will start moving from me to you why because i have more chocolates and you are having less chocolates hence we have to attempt an equilibrium same happens with gases at the surface of alveoli okay so very important concept once the oxygen reaches the surface of alveoli the exchange of gases there takes place by the process of diffusion Please remember this and what is diffusion? Movement of molecules from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. Now I have drawn an imaginary diagram. Suppose you take only one grape like structure. In your lungs you have millions of alveoli but take only one alveoli that is a grape like structure. So this blue color is an alveoli. It is said that alveoli are always surrounded with blood capillaries there are n number of blood capillaries inside the uh, surface of i mean surrounding the surface of alveoli so what happens <clears throat> when the pulmonary artery brings the deoxygenated blood to your lungs okay we had discussed that in a circulatory system that when pulmonary artery brings the deoxygenated blood to your lungs this deoxygenated blood deoxygenated means it is having more amount of carbon dioxide at the same time the alveoli has done inhalation or our body has done inhalation hence the alveoli has more amount of oxygen as you can clearly see this red color is blood vessel and this is alveoli alveoli is having more oxygen and carbon uh, sorry this blood vessel is having more carbon dioxide because it is uh, deoxygenated blood now <clears throat> since uh, now I said that the exchange of gases takes place by the process of diffusion right now you can see since oxygen is more here and there is no oxygen in the blood vessel oxygen is moving from alveoli this is alveoli and this is blood vessel so oxygen is moving from alveoli into the blood vessel and it combines with hemoglobin it cannot go on its own it, it could requires a vehicle on which it will sit and transfer to all parts of your body it does cannot move on its own because your body is a very very long highway so if you want to go somewhere you use vehicles in the same way if the oxygen from the alveoli enters the blood vessel now this will enter on its own that is by the process of diffusion but what once it enters the alveoli it requires a vehicle which is said to be hemoglobin you understand why hemoglobin is so important in our body because hemoglobin is a vehicle for oxygen if there is no hemoglobin oxygen cannot be transported and if there is less oxygen in our body we will not have energy by the process of yes respiration hence when the oxygen enters the blood vessel it binds to hemoglobin and it becomes oxyhemoglobin okay that is how 
it will now be transported to your heart and from the heart it will be transported to all parts of your body this is the first exchange that is first gas which is exchanged by the process of diffusion between alveoli and blood vessels now what happens to carbon dioxide you can see once the oxygen goes into your blood vessel at the same time carbon dioxide is more in amount in blood vessel you can see there is no carbon dioxide here but there is lot and lot of carbon dioxide here hence the carbon dioxide will always move from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration that you can see in this picture that the carbon dioxide is also moving into the alveoli and when this becomes rich in carbon dioxide we exhale that is the carbon dioxide rich air is going out of our body in this way the exchange of gases takes place at the surface of alveoli so you can generally uh, read this <clears throat> oxygen combines with hemoglobin oxyhemoglobin forms oxyhemoglobin this is the structure molecular formula and this oxygen will then enter your blood vessels okay it will then enter your uh, blood vessels and from the blood vessels it will enter into your heart and from the heart it will go into your <clears throat> all parts of your body so pulmonary artery is taking the blood suppose you have lungs here so it will take the blood to your lungs that is a deoxygenated blood uh, in the alveoli all the exchange will take place and the oxygenated blood will be carried by pulmonary vein okay pulmonary vein will carry the oxygenated blood to left atrium it will enter into left ventricle and from the left ventricle through aorta it will go to all parts of your body okay so this is a very important concept remember one important thing here that diffusion is a process which helps in exchange of gases at the surface of alveoli now you know one important thing about alveoli <clears throat> it is said that corona virus what happens when the virus enters your body and if you do not take proper care of it it goes into the alveoli and it inflames the alveoli inflames means the alveoli becomes enlarged in structure and when it becomes enlarged in structure the blood vessels start moving off the alveoli the blood vessels are not in contact with the alveoli and if something is increasing in size it cannot work efficiently so that inflammation of alveoli because of the inflammation of alveoli caused by corona virus Uh, what happens there is no proper exchange of gas between alveoli and the blood vessel and since there is no proper exchange of gas because of that only we face breathing problem right you might have heard people saying that are you suffering from breathing problem because if you are suffering from corona virus you generally suffer from less of breath you feel difficulty in breathing that is why that is because the alveoli got inflamed it got increased in size because of the virus and that situation is also known as uh, this inflammation and because of the inflammation or pneumo pneumonia that situation is also known as pneumonia pneumonia we generally called right it affects your lungs so what it is doing in your lungs it is increasing the size of alveoli and that is the reason there is no exchange of gas and if there is no exchange of gas suddenly you will have breathing problems okay if you have any doubt please do write in the comment section thank you so